You're never too busy or important to be kind to others. Oh, that's so sweet. You walk down the street to the Coffee Spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. Yeah, we're gonna spend so much money on coffee. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at my home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other- Okay, true. True. Or you could just buy the coffee because maybe it's better than your coffee and just go home. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like... A little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table but he is very much within my personals dude that's so true I hate being out in public dad and what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug is there a bin do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it oh my god I feel I normally just put it on the counter and be like oh hi can I give this to you thanks bye or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you Consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug. Oh god, I have that same fear too. <gasps> this game is too real. It's speaking to me on such a high level. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Okay, but who likes socializing? Yes, Amanda! We walk inside. Dude, you look dope as fuck. Inside the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge patrons lounge are around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes been on a record player and next to a little stage. Matt, with one T. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running? I like it, Coffee Spoon. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them this same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling. I'm sure... And I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, it... Man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Oh my god, I feel so same that same. Dots. More dots. Dots. So what'll it be? I scan the chalkboard menu, and it am immediately overwhelmed. Same, especially if you're front in line. I'll have a Godspeed, you black coffee. Ooh, I'll get a chai. Spicy. Okay, but I didn't get the eggplant, so clearly it's not what you like, but okay. I don't get it. Is that because I'm white? Oh my god, real talk though, quick story time. As of right now, like, or back, whenever you watch it, I work at a honey shop. And there was this lady, it's just pure, raw, natural, and pasteurized honey. And this lady comes up, samples honey, because we have honey samples. She looks me dead in the eyes and goes, ooh, spicy. And I'm just like, ma'am, this is the most mild honey we have. None of this whatsoever is, oh my god. I think about it from time to time, just the way, like, her lips were, like, puckered. And she's like, ooh, spicy. I was just like, ugh, you're so white. Oh, it's a pun. Die Antwoord is a South African rap group. They're pretty well known for their uh, evocative imagery and hyper stylized music videos. Their music is as catchy as it is disturbing. Sounds like something I'd like. Dots. I'm doing the thing again. We're coming right up. Oh no, I don't know. I, for me, it's always because I'm introverted if some like if i meet someone and they don't talk i won't talk but if they talk a lot i feel more relaxed i'm willing to open up and for you of a macchiato de marco please coming right up do you want that in small medium or biggie smalls <laughs> oh i love that uh medium 
Oh, come on. You know you like it, Igluis. Wait, is Biggie Small... Biggie Small's big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? <laughs> I like it. I think it makes sense. Matt's set to making our drinks. Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey. Hey. Ska was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. That's what I thought. Amanda thought so too, clearly. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. Are you trying to set me up with the barista? Because if so, please do. You should totally become friends with him. Oh, uh, I don't know. Hell yeah. Come on. What do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and don't go outside and I also don't talk to people. Oh my god. I am a Lewis. This is my whole life. <laughs> See? We're making progress. That sense... Yeah. Matt sets our drinks down at our table. Now I immediately burn the roof of, of my mouth. Oh my god, same. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Igluis. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. What a coincidence. All of the dads I've met so far have daughters. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me grab you got your guys' opinion on something. Sure thing. So Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that Nana Bread a taste if you want us to do, if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be commensurate with, uh, I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. Oh my god, mood! <laughs> I was just gonna give you guys free Banana Bread anyway. Right, yes, that. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow, chow down. This is amazing! Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Oh my god. That is genius. Bananas and banana bread. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. <laughs> I make Lewis. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns. So I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy. Grateful. Oh my god, Grateful Bread! Like Grateful Dead. Right said banana bread. Okay, that rolls off the tongue. I like these two a lot. Grateful Bread. Right said banana bread. Oh, I'm torn. Grateful Bread. I don't know, but just reading Grateful... Oh, I'm so torn. That one. Oh, he liked okay. Like Wright said Fred. But now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. That actually has a nice ring to it. To me, it rolls off the tongue just slightly better. Really? Yeah. Wright said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. I like you, Matt. You can be my daddy. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool. But once I said I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth and maybe I should leave saying baby to the professionals. Dots. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Oh! See, it sounds good when you say it. Oh! Oh! Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself. 
brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. Oh, mis you're mysterious man, aren't you? Question mark. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Nap. We just had coffee. Yes, but in my sleep and dream psychology course, she suggested a good way for energy if we have to take caffeine. You drink your coffee, take, I think it's a 15 minute nap, I'd have to check my notes. And then you wake up and you're good. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie. Okay, that too though. Now all aboard the train to Sleepy Town Junction. Mood. Drinking too much water can cause water intoxication. That happened to my friend once, I think. I hate water though, water tastes disgusting. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps coming up behind us. Lewis, bro! Oh my god, it's a bro. Oh, hello. What a cute baby. I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. I like his pants. Craig? Bro. Bro. Holy wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Aw, oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, Amanda, you also have a new sister. Are you babysitting? Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? <laughs> I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. She actually still goes by Smashley, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. The twins? It's all copacetic. Pathetic. Twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro, right? Keg Stan Craig is a father of three? Keg Stan Craig? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. <laughs> nice. It's a thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg, right? He was very good at it. Oh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. <laughs> you jog daily? I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. <gasps> Why is this also so relatable? Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch, just like the good old days. I mean, I'm down. <laughs> All right, sure, sounds great. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. 
Amanda, he opened up a jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a normal thing. It was a thing nor- that normal people do. It wasn't holy. And then I asked him wh- what the hell he was doing. And he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, he's not wrong. Tomato. T- I mean, technically, he's not wrong. See, exactly. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. That was a fast dad tip. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch and Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. What? Oh yeah, because you're senior. No, don't say that. Oh, dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. <laughs> you promise? Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? I'll get a dog or have a new daddy. Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Exactly. A dog? She's not going to want to go to college, just like how I did it with my puppy back at home. Forget art school. I'll stay for the day. Exactly. I feel you, Amanda. Is that what it's going to take? Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up all my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Amanda laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes, envelopes slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls out one out and throws the rest back on the floor. This is from McGowan College of Art and uh, College of Art and Design. Open it. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. No big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips uh, the letter open with her teeth. Okay. I'm hoping the best for my Amanda Panda, but normally I found if it's a letter, you didn't get into the school. Cause, cause at least the schools I got into, it, I mean, there was a letter, but they also sent like a packet, like, whoa, welcome to the school. We have a letter opener, but okay. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes start back and forth, scanning the letter. Hi, <gasps> Dion. What does it say? Uh, the missions committee has reviewed your application, but, oh, and we, her face jaw, oh, no, I'll take you out to get an ice cream sandwich. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. I might have throws a letter on the coffee table. Girl, we can go get ice cream sandwiches. We can go find a bonfire. We can burn that bitch while we eat our Sammies. Oh, sweetie. It's okay, I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. The admissions officer told me they just wanted to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You never know unless you try. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is gonna want to snatch you up for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I know, it's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Obviously, she's probably just saying that. Mm. I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. I think that's a good idea. Don't push people. Oh. My bad. Don't push people. Oh. Oh, and... Oh, and before I forget, MR and MRP are sleeping over tonight. So, you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but... <laughs> well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah, what are your plans? Go find more dogs. 
Quick, think of plans. <laughs> I love these. Gotta attend the union meeting. I'm going clubbing. I gotta attend the union meeting. Boss man's been riding us pearls too hard. It's time to rise up for our rights. Dad, you're not even gonna invite me to the riot? I'm sorry, sweetie. It's an honest day's work for an honest day's riot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Well, no, because I want to give her space. I'm not going to stay home. And, I mean, I could go to bed. Or I could get drunk. And I choose getting drunk. Nice. Hmm. Which game? You know the game. The one that's on tonight. Dude, same. The game on TV. It's somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. Yeah. I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Dad. Just making sure. And give her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? No, making fun of sports is played out. All right then. I'll do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered, I'll be there. I hope they have a fun night. I'm really glad Amanda has such sweet friends, even if I can't remember their names. I mean, literally, they're both Emma. Even if you can't remember which one's which, it doesn't matter. You just say, hey, Emma, what's up? <laughs> just as I'm heading toward my room, the doorbell rings. 